Let's just hop on over to S in here, buy the last thing that we need from the person here. Apparently we can still buy more. Interesting. Okay, okay. It's it's been an hour and I still haven't gotten any new abilities. As far as Metroidvania, Metroidvanias go, this is rather disappointing, honestly. I was holding down, not down left. And it's like, yep, recovering health. Let me just stand here for a minute as my health comes back. Go back in and fight. Here, can I just play Ender Lilies again instead? That dash range really needs to be improved. There's no block button. Oh, okay. Um, oh, that button did something else. Yeah, sure. Uh. Artifacts here tell a story for the who once was, but they did. For many stories made off of the very artifacts that call this location home for thousands of years. I have to start to look here, but to recover the ancient artifacts, they could be anywhere in that. Here and four to three more ancient artifacts. Sure. Why does it take up? Why does it take up aura to fire a bullet? It shouldn't take up aura, it should take up dust. Why does it use up health to fire bullets? That is not thematic. So Ruby shoots fast as three. Yang is, is slow, but it's an eight. Blake's is super fast, but it's just a one. I think improving Blake's uh, ranged weapon damage would be best. Because it goes from one to two, it like doubles.
Yeah, Yang's supposed to have good damage, right? Like, why does she, like, not? And of course, lots and lots of skill points and health points and stuff can be got just through purchasing. Instead of having to, you know, run around a map and go through dead ends and stuff. Sure, some skill points are found from the map, but... There are at least three that, that we found so far in the first hour that get purchased. Yep, two each. Like, there's a ledge up here, but what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Apparently. Oh, yeah, I could go down that path and get thing. I jumped over them. Hey, right, cool. You can't get me up here, right? Okay, cool. So all I have to do is stand here and wait. As far as Richard Venus go, this scheme is not so good. I was worried that this would be the case, that they would be all like, well, people are gonna buy it just because it's Ruby, so we can just phone it in. It doesn't actually have to be a good game. I was really hoping for a good game. So far, first impressions, not so good. Can we get up here? No, we cannot. I can't get up there as it stands. Again, it's been over an hour. We haven't unlocked any new ability. We still have only the starting abilities. And that's it. Something we're looking for. Got the goggles, go back to the doggy. The health bar is pretty small. Extra hits just, you know, they take one hit and play like a five second cutscene when you get hit. So you know, oh hey, my health is out. Time to change to the one character that I put all of my health regen stuff on.
And I was thinking that the Blake Shadow Clone thing warped her to her clone, but no, it just makes new clone. Boom. Yeah, that's right. I can't get to that unless I get an extra jump ability. So, it looks like there are abilities to be gotten. I just haven't reached them yet. In which case, this is a very, you know, slow process sort of game. Yeah, I'd be more inclined to put this as something more of, what, an action platformer? Oh, that's right. I can just exit location. I don't have to actually walk back. Why does it take ore to shoot the gun? Alright, so he's gonna give us the grape soda. Oh my gosh, look at- Maybe you like grape soda, but I sure don't. <laughs> Wish we could zoom in on the can. People like grapes. Oh my gosh. Of course there'd be Rooster Teeth references in here. Gosh, after everything that's been going on with Rooster Teeth. Ugh. Well, everything that's uh, come to light lately about what's been going on with Rooster Teeth. Yeah, a lot of chain quests... You do something for someone to get 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 something for someone. It's a little room temperature-ish. Okay, just go outside then. There isn't any such resident team in the Easy and Special Operative Units Directory. He wasn't found in any Huntsman standbys at all. They well may be unlicensed mercenaries. Yeah, that sounds about right. Like, it has to be the case where in order to get all the skill points, you have to buy them and also explore, right? You can't just buy all the skill points and then just be left with extra skill points, right? So to get them all, you have to purchase them. Because I've played games like that before and it's fine. Okay, so for here, you can buy three skill points. That still feels like a lot. I kind of want to do energy heal for everybody last. I want to do energy heal for everybody last. So let's, I don't know, do I get Ruby all the way up? Hmm. 
Hmm. Should I get Ruby all the way up and then have the rest of the team slowly go up as well? Because, again, I don't... The only reason to put other characters as an energy heal up is out of sheer laziness of not wanting to switch back to Ruby. And yeah, sure, I could have meaned Blake, really. Her attacks are alright. The only thing is that Ruby's dash just makes exploration a little bit faster. Cool, got another skill point. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it's just fifty two skill points to go, right? Imagine if there aren't actually enough skill points to go through everything. And Rooster Teeth winds up taking the data from this game to find out, like, which skill points are more, like, given to characters from people, uh, you know, playing it. Find out which characters tend to get which skill points more often. And that will wind up reflecting on the characters uh, going forward in the show. Easy enough. Okay, just po hold on a second. Boom, boom, boom. Easy. <laughs> One out of three ancient artifacts. Cool, we still need two more to go. Yeah, there's no map for this game, because there really doesn't have to be one. It's pretty simple and very straightforward. No need to fight enemies, don't get XP from that. I mean, in a way we do, right? Because I can spend like 100 to get an extra 
skill point or 150 for an extra heart. And like they put little obstacles here that like look like Metroidvania type things. But it's like, oh hey, the actual answer is just switch to Yang and use her ability and boom, get a skill point. It's not like, oh, well, you have to, you know, come back once you get the ability and then you can do it, which is normal for Metroidvanias. Hey, here's an item, but you can't get it until you get this ability. It's just like, hey, switch to Yang for a second. Switch to Yang, hit X. Okay, you can get it now. Actually, yeah, use this to increase Booby's melee attack. Oh, wait! Melee damage went from 7 up to 9. Went up by 2 points. Interesting. Got another skill point. It's like, yay, cool, we're getting skill points up super fast. But if there are really only just enough skill points in this game to get all of the characters to maximum stats, well, I mean, but then we're already like, what, one sixth of the way through the game? Got like 11 out of 64 then. Possibly even more. And we're like a fifth of the way through the game, right? Found a store that's potentially selling up to three more of them. Eleven melee attack. Easy. The only thing we get for cleaning the ambush is now we can move forward and hell if there's a prize in the next room. Weapon tech. Make sure to show it to Harriet. Because Harriet wanted weapon tech. I think we can still do a little bit of backtracking here. That's right, that's right. She wanted three weapon techs, right? Yeah, we can't climb this. All right, leave. Go back to the map. Nope, apparently there's more here. I mean, it's not like we can upgrade the semblances. That would be cool. Make Ruby's dash bigger. Make Weiss able to, like, 
make a second platform after she's already made the first one? Heck, it's a Metroidvania! Give me the ability to double jump! Or down. So let's go down here. Yeah, either there are no hidden walls, you know, hidden doors in this game, or they're just, you know, well hidden enough that I haven't found them yet. Both of those are kind of a bad thing. <laughs> oh, we can go to the left here. Ambush! Ambush clear. Easy. Skill point or a weapon tech? Weapon tech. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, wait, no, just down here. Doi. Weapon attack. Okay, now I leave. From. Okay, so one wanted the grape soda, one wanted goggles, one wants three ancient artifacts that we only have one of. Hmm. Sure. It's some room for improvement. It's your semblance. Cool. Can we upgrade the semblance? Did we up? 
We got Pedal Burst Plus! Nice! Nope, chop chop, there's much to do. Oh yeah, that's that's a proper dash now. Skill point or extra heart? I say we work towards getting extra heart. Yeah, the cross remains. There was a place that we could have gotten to, but we didn't have enough, like, dash power. Yeah, now maining Ruby is starting to make a lot more sense here. Eh. Yeah, speaking of maining Ruby, when I'm not going to let's play Blast Blue Cross Tank Battle. So could I make that? I mean, there is a chance I could make it, right? Wait a second. No, I think I have to... Doesn't increase the height effect to do it that way. There we go! Alright, cool. More skill points? Yeah, let's increase your defense a little bit more. Alright, alright. It took an hour and a half before we got, like, an ability upgrade. Arbitrary. All that did was enable us to get around here without fighting that. That's weird. I was really expecting an ambush to happen right there. Okay, big ol' Atlas Crate. Well, maybe Atlas Crate. Okay. 
made all enemies to continue. Lots and lots of these ambushes. And it's like, are they supposed to be a dramatic fight? That's actually supposed to be difficult? Because they're not exactly difficult. Are they still supposed to be a test? Like, hey, let's make sure that you're not just running through the game without fighting enemies. Or else you won't have the power to defeat these enemies. Except, fighting enemies doesn't directly give you power. It's the finding of skill points that gives you the power. So it's supposed to be a test. It's like, hey, make sure you've been using skill points up to this point. Do I... Like, is this supposed to be a dramatic fight, or is this just supposed to be a... Hey, here, spend the next three minutes doing this. All of this for a couple extra skill points? Nope. Second ancient artifact. Okay, cool. Is this game even available on Steam yet? Okay, wait. Wait, did I fully explore this now? It's like, that was at least one Metroidvania aspect of it. I suppose. Going back to that previous area, now it's just a matter of... Oh, this place had something I needed. Just keep dashing all the way through, right? something in one of these sections that I had to go for. Oh, that's arbitrary.
Okay, wait, hold on. I got this. Yay, more things. Alright. Not increasing her ranged attack yet, but full defense. I think increasing everyone else's defense might be a good idea. Definitely want to increase Blake's gun all the way, though. Oh, wait, 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 I got this. No? Well, it sure feels like I'm supposed to push down on that with something, but... up. Uh, Apparently not. Oh look, a save point. Does that mean there's a boss fight right over here? And yes, I recognize that Ruby's doing the Naruto run. I I can see it, yep. More rooms.
Huzzah! You remember this game started and it was playing like an all new song? Remember when I fought a boss fight and there was like a new... Like, in Ruby style animation cutscene? Either of those would be neat. I mean, like, I feel like I'm gonna have to get the soundtrack for this game just to get that new song. If it's anything... If it's any... Yeah. If it's as good as the, uh... Previous, uh... Made for a Ruby game all-new song. Lucius Nachere. That's gonna be a pretty darn good song! Yeah. Uh... Ruby Grim Eclipse. If you beat the game, it plays a song that hasn't, like, appeared in the show. It has appeared on a soundtrack, I believe. That was specifically made for that game, which was originally a fan game that wound up getting picked up by the people who make Ruby. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure that they had some of the actual, like, VAs do the voices. Hey, right. artifact? Okay, now I can leave. Done. I wonder if place I can get like a little check if I've actually gotten everything in them. Actually, let's go here first. So I could get extra hearts, but I think I'm fine on the extra hearts. I'd rather just get the extra skill points here and just be all like, yep, yeah, I know this hearts. So I could upgrade Ruby's ranged attack, but I see no reason to do that. So let's upgrade Blake. And also upgrade Blake's defense a couple of points. Yes. Okay. Yeah, like that. I think I'm just about ready. Yeah, once I increase Blake's defense all the way, I think I'll just increase our energy. Oh, right. We can go down from here. I'll increase Blake's energy all the way as well. So I don't have to swap two characters in order to get back to good energy. Hi, Penny. Friends to nine nine point seven percent of rust. The gate remains closed. So at some point we're going to be able to like hit a switch and I'll open up that door down there. Make a note on your mental maps, people. Gosh, yeah, way back in the day, games just didn't come with maps. Like, the original Zelda, like, people hand-drew maps to, like, find their way through it. Although, to be fair, Zelda did have something resembling a map. It was just very basic. It's like, you could see what coordinates you were on, and that was about it. <laughs>
I think that might be cat hair. What they feud between light and darkness gods. Is that correct? Maybe because Ruby dropped it. Oh, now I no longer have to uh, keep working for the Aesops. I guess I can go back to the Ironwoods building. Yeah, I think that's where I'm supposed to go, right? Let's get that first and then leave. Yeah, back up there. Yep, back to Atlas Academy. So. Uh, but that's an unusual threat. Okay. You'd be the last to arm anyone with costly weapons. Lieutenant Harper found a lead. Previous time to care the next course in our counter operation. Okay. Hmm. Aerofell technology. What? Fort Aerofell was a classified research facility run by the Atlas military to develop highly experimental weapons. Except as Jell I would can attest to, Aerofell became defunct years ago and it was so securely sealed up that nobody could possibly enter. Aerofell nonsense aside, someone has been able to get their hands on things they shouldn't, and we think we have a lead on the powerful figure responsible. Weiss's dad, what? No. Ugh. A Monsieur Glass, Glace, is behind it all, according to Dodge Outfit Mercenaries for his own gain. Like there's some kind of power play we're yet to fully understand. What? Who's that? Someone new. Absolutely mobs attack. Because his fingers all sorts of shady business. I swear my father, even he won't do business with a Monsieur Glaze, and that's saying something. Uh Okay. Oh, we've got this team movies on the case. All right, fine. I'll do that, but then I think I'm gonna call it. You know what? I think I'm gonna call it here. Next time we can go and take down uh, Amasio Glace. I hope we can find a save point somewhere to you know save our game because we can't do it in any of the city hubs we have to do it actually in one of the levels as far as metroidvania metroidvanias go this doesn't seem to be a metroidvania yet i mean we've got we're only two hours in we got one upgrade we've got what almost half of the character upgrades we've unlocked a lot of points on the map so far, this seems like it's going to be a pretty short game, but that, but we'll have to find that out later. Peace.